Good day, everyone. It's your favorite teacher. Did you miss me? Well, this is part 6A, a school reunion. But before we start, as always, make sure to like and subscribe. Let's get to it. My friends, look at the pictures. What are their jobs? Yeah. For example, look, number one. Oh, he is a taxi driver. Yeah. Number two, she's a teacher, like yours truly. And number three, he's a receptionist. Very good. Follow me. Everybody, jobs. What do they do? Listen and repeat. Let's go. 6.1 Jobs and places of work. 1. What do they do? A. 1. A teacher. 2. A doctor. 3. A nurse. 4. A journalist. 5. A waiter, a waitress. 6. A salesperson. 7. A receptionist. 8. A policeman, a policewoman. 9. A factory worker. 10. A taxi driver. Very good. Now, everyone, with your friend, what does she do? She's a teacher. What does he do? He's a taxi driver. Speak with your friends. I'll wait. A few minutes later. Well done. Now, everyone, I need you to listen and repeat the sentences. Your turn. 6.2 Jobs and places of work. 1. What do they do? C. I work for an American company. I'm in college. I'm a student. I study economics. I'm at school. I'm unemployed right now. I'm retired. Yeah. Unemployed. It means I don't have a job. And retired, for example, after 30 years, 25 years, you retire. Yeah, you don't work anymore. Very well. Now, I have a question. What do you do? What's your job? For example, I'm a certified international English teacher. What's your job? What do you do? Speak with your friends. So far, so good. Now, where do they work? The location. Do you remember? Send me a message, like location, location. Very good. Now, I need you to listen and repeat. Let's go. 6.3 2. Where do they work? 1. In a hospital. 2. In a store. 3. In a restaurant. 4. In an office. 5. In a school. 6. In a factory. 7. At home. 8. On the street. Okay. Now, everybody, with your partner, where does a doctor work? In a hospital. Where does a teacher work? For example, in a school. And where do you work or study? For example, I work online and on YouTube platform. Again, speak with your friends. Compare your answers. Everybody, look at the picture. What do you see? Why are the people 
together. What is that? Ah, it says class of 1996. School reunion. Oh, that's a good one. Very good. Now, I need you to listen and mark the sentences true or false. Let's do it. 6.4 Who's that over there? It's Anna. You know, the intelligent girl. She's very different. Her hair's blonde. Yes, and she doesn't wear glasses now. What does she do? She's a journalist. She works for a newspaper. The Times, I think. Is she good? I don't know. I don't read The Times. And who's that man with gray hair? Is it Matt? Yes. What does he do? He's a teacher. He teaches Spanish. Where does he work? At our old school. No, at our old school? Yes, and he's married to Laura. Laura? From our class? Is she here? Yes, she's with Matt. Very nice shoes. I know, right? They're amazing. Sarah, Julia, hi. Great to see you. Hi, Laura. Wow, I love your shoes. They're beautiful. Great. Sorry about the dancing. I love dancing. Now, everybody, I need you to listen again one more time and read the conversation. Check your answers. Let's do it. 6.4 Who's that over there? It's Anna. You know, the intelligent girl. She's very different. Her hair's blonde. Yes, and she doesn't wear glasses now. What does she do? She's a journalist. She works for a newspaper. The Times, I think. Is she good? I don't know. I don't read The Times. And who's that man with gray hair? Is it Matt? Yes. What does he do? He's a teacher. He teaches Spanish. Where does he work? At our old school. No, at our old school? Yes, and he's married to Laura. Laura? From our class? Is she here? Yes, she's with Matt. Very nice shoes. I know, right? They're amazing. Sarah, Julia, hi. Great to see you. Hi, Laura. Wow, I love your shoes. They're beautiful. Okay, now check your answers with your friends. So, number one, Anna is a journalist. It's true. Number two, she works for a magazine. False. Matt is a teacher. True. He teaches English. False. Laura is Matt's daughter. False again. Very well. Everyone, read the conversation again. Complete the chart. Let's do it together. For example, I work for a newspaper. She works for a newspaper. Yeah. I don't wear glasses. She doesn't wear glasses. And look at the question part. What do you do? What does he do? Yeah. Now follow me. My smart friends, listen. 6.5 He works. He doesn't work. Does he work? Yes, he does. No, he doesn't. She works. She doesn't work. Does she work? Yes, she does. No, she doesn't. It works. It doesn't work. Does it work? Yes, it does. No, it doesn't. Very well. So, as you can see, simple present positive. Positive. This part. He, she, it, the verb gets s i work he works she works it works 
Now for the negative, look, he, she, it doesn't plus the verb. Okay, doesn't means does not. For example, I don't work, he doesn't work, she doesn't work, it doesn't work. And for question, look, does plus he, she, it plus the verb. For example, do you work? Does he work? Does she work? Does it work? Very good. Easy, isn't it? Look, for example, I work in an office. He works in an office. I live in Peru. He lives in Peru. So you add S. Sometimes, look, I watch CNN. She watches ES, CNN. I finish work at 8. The movie finishes at 8. It finishes, right? And I study history. He studies history. Okay, so Y becomes I, E, S, studies. Very good. Now look, have, go and do. Look, I have, he has. I do, she does. I go, he goes. All right, very good. And look, these are the questions. What do you do? What do you do means what's your job? What do you do for a living? And where does he work? For example, the location, as I mentioned before. Now, let's practice together, me and you. As always, I have two exercises, A and B. Rewrite the sentences. For example, I live in an apartment. She. She lives in an apartment. Okay? And B, put the verbs in parentheses in the correct form. These verbs. For example, they near here, not live. They don't live near here. Easy. Easy for you. You're smart. Now, you can stop the video, take your time, do it yourself. And if you have done it, very good. Check your answers with your friends. Let's do it with me. Check with me. Let's do it. Number one, they read magazines. He reads magazines. I study Chinese. My sister, she. She studies Chinese. Do you speak English? Now, does he speak English? I don't eat fish. My brother doesn't eat fish. Where do you work? Where does your wife work? You don't speak Arabic. Tom, he doesn't speak Arabic. Do you like cats? She. Does she like cats? I have two brothers. Andrew has two brothers. He. What do you eat for lunch? What does he eat for lunch? We watch a lot of TV. My mother watches a lot of TV. What do you do? Your son. What does your son do? And we don't need a car. Maria doesn't need a car. Very good. Exercise B. She listens to the radio in the car. My brother goes to college in Boston. Number three, we don't work on weekends. Number four, it's a question. Does Angela live with her mother? Number five, the show finishes at 9.30. Number six, she usually has food for breakfast. Number seven, we don't watch TV on weekends. Number eight, do you want tea or coffee? Number nine, where do your children go to school? Number ten, Linda doesn't eat meat, fish or eggs. She's vegan. Yeah. Number eleven, does Tran like his new studio or new job? I'm sorry. Because I'm in a studio right now, I think of everything as a studio. Sorry. And number 12, Louisa doesn't have brothers or sisters. Well done. You got it. Part 3. Pronunciation. Everybody listen and circle the words where final ES is is. Pronounced like this. Is. Right? Let's do it. 6.6 .6. Does Finishes. Goes. Likes. Lives. Teaches. 
watches. Very good. So right. Finishes, teaches, watches. Okay, you don't say watches. No, 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 no. Teaches, watches, finishes. Very good. Now I need you to listen and change the sentence. Use the third person. For example, I live in New York. He, boom, he lives in New York. Let's do it together. 6.7. One. I live in New York. He. He. He lives in New York. Okay, very good. Two. I finish work at eight o'clock. She. She. She finishes work at eight o'clock. Three. I teach English. My brother. My brother. My brother teaches English. Four. I watch CNN. She. She watches CNN. Five. I write books. He. He writes books. You see. Six. I go to college. John. John. John goes to college. Seven. I don't eat meat. My sister. My sister doesn't eat meat. Eight. I don't read newspapers. My husband. My husband. He. My husband doesn't read newspapers. Okay. Nine. Do you work? He. Does he work? Okay. Ten. Do you drink coffee? She. Does she drink coffee? And that's it. Well done. You did great. Reading time. Everybody, in what jobs in your country do people need to speak English? What jobs need that? For example, in Turkey, where I live, for example, health tourism. Yeah, you need to speak English. Or for example, tourism. You need to speak English. Or uh, we have textile business, export business, or international real estate business. You need to speak English. What about your country? Huh? Write the jobs down. Very good. Now, I need you to read the article and write the jobs. Okay? You can use the vocabulary bank to help you. Take your time. There is no rush. Very good. Now, I need you to listen and check your answers. 6.8 Do you speak English at work? What do these people have in common? A banker in Mexico City, a taxi driver in Ankara, and a worker in the Hitachi Electronics Factory in Tokyo. They all speak English at work. Do you speak English at work? Write and tell us. Antonio. I work in a restaurant in Lima. I'm a waiter. I speak English at work every day because a lot of tourists come here. I help customers with the menu and I say what the special dishes are. They are very happy because they can talk to me in English. A lot of tourists don't speak Spanish, but they usually speak English. Charlotte I'm a receptionist and I work in an office in Buenos Aires. It's a multinational company. When people from other countries visit the company, I need to welcome them in English. I also need to answer the phone in English. 
when we have meetings, we all speak in English because it's the language of the company. I love the Latino accent. Very good. Now, everybody, I need you to answer the questions with a partner. You can read it again. Take your time. It's your turn. I'll wait for you. A few moments later. You're back. Now, let's check the answers together. Why does Antonio speak English at work? Well, because he needs to help tourists, because a lot of tourists don't speak Spanish. And how does he help people? Well, he helps customers with the menu and he says what the special dishes are. Yeah. Who does Charlotte work for? Well, she works for a multinational company. And what two things does she do in English? She welcomes people and she answers the phone. And the last question, why do they speak English in meetings in our company? Well, because it's the language of the company. Lots of uh, companies are like this. For example, if I'm not mistaken, LG, Toyota, or for example, Microsoft. The language of the company is English. It's multinational, but English is the general and common language. My friends, listen to the conversation. 6.9 What does he do? He's a nurse. Where does he work? He works in a hospital. Does he speak English at work? No, he doesn't. Does he like his job? Yes, he does. Great. Now I need you to listen and repeat. 6.10 What does he do? He's a nurse. Where does he work? He works in a hospital. Does he speak English at work? No, he doesn't. Does he like his job? Yes, he does. Very good. Now, everybody, think of two people who have jobs. They can be your friends, your family members, okay? What does he or she do? Where does he or she work? Does he or she speak English at work? Does he or she like his or her job? Why? Speak with your friends and you can take notes. For example, my mother is a teacher. She works at an elementary school in Sao Paulo. She doesn't speak English at work. She loves her job because she likes children. So take your notes and speak with your friends. Your turn. Last but not least, just a little review. Listen and practice. 6.11 What does she do? Where does he teach? She's a journalist. She doesn't wear glasses. Her hair's blonde. He's married to Lisa. Great to see you. Intelligent. I know, right? I love your shoes. A banker. Customers. Dishes. A multinational company. Meetings. Why? Because. Very well. Another practice done. Everybody, thank you for watching. I will teach you every day. You can download the slides in the caption part and you can also contact me if you need lessons. And if you like my work, 
please like and subscribe and support our project. You can always become a member or just send super thanks. The choice is yours, but the lessons will go on every single day. Purpose over pleasure, my friends. Be on your purpose. Bye-bye.